right, um, I think we will get started with our next session. Um, Abby, I'm going to spotlight you and then it's over to you. All right, hi guys, welcome to the TikTok session more specifically how multifamily can engage with the world's most downloaded app. You heard that correctly, TikTok is the world's most downloaded app. Today, some goals that we're gonna kind of try to achieve are really addressing um, how multifamily can engage with TikTok, allowing you as marketers to feel empowered engaging with this app. I think there's a lot of questions around TikTok um, not just from a personal standpoint, but also from a professional standpoint as well, um, as well as some ideas of barriers to entry, right? So I think in this session, we're going to try to address all of those um, and walk away feeling much more comfortable um, diving into the world of advertising on TikTok. So getting started, um, my name is Abigail Glazner. I am a senior paid media strategist here at Digible. I've been with Digible for just under three years, um, and I've actually been working on on the TikTok uh, channel product offering for the past two years. So little fun fact here is that uh, Digital was one of the first agencies, multifamily or not, to engage with TikTok um, from an advertising standpoint. So we've been with them through a lot of platform changes, a lot of changes to our capabilities as advertisers as well. Um, and so have a lot of insight, especially um, in this channel and in this market. <clears throat> so quick agenda here that we're going to cover. So first and foremost, what is TikTok? I think that's a really big question that a lot of us need answered, which is totally fine, of course. And then going into advertising opportunities on TikTok, how TikTok fits into your marketing mix. Talk about TikTok versus another big giant paid social beast of Facebook. And then targeting within fair housing, super important. And then talk a lot about um, the those barriers to entries I just mentioned, right? Which typically falls onto the asset requirements. And then talk a little bit about is TikTok right for your marketing mix and where we see TikTok being successful for, for your marketing mix. <clears throat> so jumping right in, what is TikTok? Well, I've said it a, a few times already. I'm going to keep saying it, so don't be surprised. TikTok is the world's most downloaded app. But what does that mean? Let's add a little bit of context to such a bold statement. So Erica is going to throw a question um, up into the chat for everybody as to uh, how many downloads do you think TikTok had in 2021? Now, it's just 2021, not all time. How many tick, uh, downloads do you think TikTok had uh, worldwide? I'm going to add the worldwide part to it uh, in 2021. I'm going to open the chat here, see what we got. A lot of C's I'm seeing, a few A's, a lot of C's. Well, if you said C, you're right, <laughs> or excuse me, she said A. If you said C, you're wrong. You were close, but you're wrong. <laughs> if you said A, you're right. TikTok last year had 656 million downloads worldwide. And that adds into the total number that we've seen to date. So to date, we um, TikTok has 1.2 billion users across the entire globe and 140 million users in the US. Now to add even more additional context to that last number right there, um, in 2021, the US population was just under 330 7 million people. So if you're doing some quick math there, you'll realize that one in four people in the United States actually have um, a TikTok account and are active user on TikTok. So one in every four people, 25% of the US population, that's everybody, that's babies who should not be having TikTok, <laughs> elderly who most likely don't. Um, so a lot of user engagement in the United States. So let's get those wheels turning, go back to this main question. What is TikTok? Obviously, one fourth the US population knows, so so should we. Um, diving right in here, first and foremost, TikTok is a social media platform. It's where users share content. And 
More specifically, where users share short form videos from 15 seconds to 10 minutes long, but most are about three minutes, or excuse me, 30 seconds to about three minutes. Topics can be really anything that you have an idea for. Um, TikTok got its start and popularity with dance and entertainment. Now there's a lot of point of view storytelling, instructional videos, and so much more. If you have an idea and the capacity to create a video, you can put it up on TikTok. Um, and it's a place for users to share and receive content. <clears throat> a little fast facts here, some fast facts about TikTok. 33% of users are age 18 to 34. 60% of users are considered Gen Z. Um, and users open TikTok on average eight times a day, spending on average just over an hour and a half on the platform every single day. So some takeaways I want you to understand here is that these are your prospective renters, right? In multifamily marketing, these are people who will be renting your unit in a nice sweet spot. And in an industry where we have so much limitation on the uh, on our targeting capabilities, this is a platform where those users are engaging and where we see them being active, again, for an hour and a half every single day, which is a long time. Um, and then last thing here, kind of diving into what makes TikTok so special, really comes back to that For You page. And on the left hand of the screen, you're kind of seeing a quick preview. It's a little GIF. It'll haunt your nightmares and dreams as it continues playing onto the side. Um, it's a personalized feed based on your app interactions and, your, and the user's interests. Now, this is what makes TikTok really special. I want you to think about your ad interactions on a platform like Facebook or Instagram, right? Those, ad interac those interactions, not just ad interactions, those interactions are purely driven by the people that you follow or the creators that you follow, right? So friends or celebrities, just people that you, you quite literally went to their page and you hit follow, right? TikTok is not like that. TikTok is not dictated by who you know, but instead by what you like. And that for you page is going to be a specifically curated feed for you based on TikTok's fantastic algorithm. And will show you videos of not only the people you follow, but of any video or any content creator that falls within um, those categories of those interests that TikTok has determined that, that you have. And that For You page is what you receive when you open the app, right? So you click on the TikTok icon and you open it and it opens uh, directly into your For You page. And you have a continuous scroll. You can scroll for forever <laughs> and you're going to see videos, not just of the people and friends that you have or followers that you have chosen to follow, but majority of the videos you will see are creators that you have never seen before and really is just be, being put in front of you because TikTok has determined that you like the type of content um, that that creator has made. So then what, um, how as marketers, how can we engage with this platform, right? You talked a little bit about how, how big it is, how engaging it is, but as marketers, how do we engage with this platform? And then more specifically, what does it look like? What does advertising on TikTok look like? Well, going back to that For You page um, at Digital and in general, TikTok ads will run in feed. So as a user is swiping from one video to the next, their ad will, our ad, um, as Mark as our ad will show in feed just as any other video. And yes, there is indications like it says sponsored content. There are a few CTAs on the ad as well, but it's meant to be organic to the platform. That's why you see a lot of a lot of this conversation is going to be about the vertical video asset because TikTok was made for that vertical video asset. Um, so what, as again, as you're swiping, the video will come up and it'll just show in feed as any other video and meant to blend into the user's app experience. <clears throat> and then specifically for multifamily, this is going to look like essentially just showing off our property, right? You have beautiful, amazing properties, fantastic floor plans, amazing amenities. This is your opportunity to show off your property in that virtual tour format. Whereas in other channels and other platforms, a user might need to click onto the ad and onto your site and then into your uh, virtual tour. TikTok, you actually can just show the virtual tour again as the ad itself in the video. And you can meet prospective renters where they are most, most engaged and where this type of content speaks to them. I just mentioned this a little bit, 
Um, but again, what in terms of what is it going to look like, it should be a video. TikTok was made for video content. Um, that isn't even the game when it comes to TikTok. There is going to be a session with your organic media team at 345 that talks a lot more about video content. Um, but the big takeaway from this is that, that I want to present you with um, is that video assets can be used on TikTok and elsewhere. Um, so think about it when you're creating video that you're not just creating it for TikTok, but, but it can be used elsewhere as well. So where is the benefit, you know, beyond the fact that one fourth of the United States actually uses TikTok, where is this benefit to us as marketers? First and foremost, something that is exciting about TikTok, especially for multifamily, is that it is an untapped market. Um, TikTok advertising is vastly underrated and, and underused in the multifamily industry, which means there's a lot more room to be an early adopter. Now, that doesn't mean that it's untested and doesn't mean that we don't know the success um, or the success capabilities um, within TikTok. We have tested it, not just at Digital, but others within the industry as well. We have seen success with it, but still we are noticing that it is more of an untapped market for multifamily. So there is a lot of potential here to ride into the success that we've already seen with properties advertising on multi um, multifamily on TikTok and achieve the same success. Second here, something that I'm, I'm hope you're getting the uh, idea of is that TikTok is a very influential environment. 74% of users report being inspired to find out more about a product or brand they saw on TikTok simply because they saw it on TikTok. This app, because of the feed that I mentioned earlier, it puts content in front of users that the algorithm knows in some way, the algorithms or knows that the content is going to spark interest, it's going to spark engagement. So it is a highly influential environment, being able to put your ads or organic content in front of users who you know will have an interest in it, um, will create those upper funnel brand awareness goal conversions and allow users to flow through the funnel um, to those bottom um, end of funnel conversions as well. Big thing here that I do want to mention, I'd be remiss if I didn't, is the new age of renters. Um, little fun fact, Gen Z turns 25 this year, and they already have a buying power of over $380 billion. It is critical as marketers that we understand their digital user behaviors and engage with them where they're most active. And spoiler alert, they are most active on TikTok, as we mentioned uh, before with the demographic um, information there. So engaging with these renters, creating those long-term brand interactions actions, demonstrating to them that you understand their user behaviors and creating those positive interactions in the future as well. Okay. So how does TikTok fit into your marketing mix? And I think the biggest thing here is the idea of the channel function, right? Because we talked a lot about how TikTok has a lot of engagement, has a lot of success, but it is really important to keep in mind as we move through this, that TikTok is an upper funnel, mid to upper funnel brand awareness strategy. The goal is to create brand awareness. That's not to say that conversions don't occur, that users don't convert um, from TikTok. It just means that that's not necessarily the goal with TikTok. We have seen um, sessions increase, paid social sessions increase by 650% from paid social. So TikTok is really driving that user brand awareness and that engagement to feed those long form lead generation and fill the funnel to make sure that they start at the top with you know, paid social or other um, brand awareness and move into paid search eventually where we can more effectively convert on, on those users. But again, not to say that they're not driving conversions. We saw a lift of 140% uh, in paid social conversions from TikTok alone. And the reason why I bring this up, again, because I, I want you to keep in mind that it is brand awareness, but the reason why I bring this up is because I think it demonstrates that TikTok is not just an engaging platform, but it also drives engaged users, right? Which I think is super valuable to us as marketers is the idea that, you know, it, I'm not hip with a kid, <laughs> for lack of a better term, right? But staying relevant is really difficult in platforms that have such high engagement. But because of the algorithm that users are experiencing, um, we it is also driving engaged users to your site as well, where they do tend to convert. Oop, here we go. 
Um, so I want to take a look really fast at TikTok versus another paid social beast, which here is Facebook. And I kind of mentioned some of these a little bit ago, but users spend on average 95 minutes per day on the platform. And that's compared to uh, 38 minutes per day um, on, on Facebook, which is a very large difference. Again, adding to that conversation of the engaged platform and drive, drives engaged users. Uh, tick, uh, users from TikTok tend to spend two times longer um, had two times longer sessions than the users from Facebook, which is quite significant. And another note here is that we saw a 77 decrease in video CPM from TikTok, which ultimately means as marketers that you can run more video ads on TikTok than you would be able to on Facebook, which again is huge when, especially for a brand awareness strategy. And ultimately that just comes down again to the idea that TikTok was made for video, where Facebook wasn't necessarily made for video. You can definitely use video on it. We personally have seen success. I know the industry has seen success with video on Facebook, but TikTok was made for it. So having those lower um, cost to entry with TikTok really allows us to get in front of more users and get in front of more engaged users as well. And again, going back to that TikTok was made for video, we are seeing um, significantly higher video engagement rates on TikTok as well. Now, it wouldn't be talking about engagement without talking about targeting. And we wouldn't be talking about targeting and multifamily without talking about fair housing. So TikTok is no exception to other paid social platforms. There are several HEC limitations that um, have applied to advertising uh, within housing, obviously specifically to multifamily that apply to age, gender, zip code, marital parental status, and then some other descriptive factors as well. Nothing different that we haven't seen from other paid social platforms like Facebook. So within that targeting um, of the fair housing limitations, we can still target location, age 18 plus. There is still interest targeting, which again, interest targeting is gold on Facebook because of the algorithm, because of the engagement with users. And then as well as we can target custom audiences. We can't target lookalike audiences, but there are a lot of other really great audiences that are available. You can target um, users who have even engaged with your ad, even to the effect of like targeting users who engage, uh, watch your video to a certain percentage, which I think is huge in continuing to further drive engaged users um, because those are people who stuck around were obviously interested in your content. So remarketing to them and putting your ad in front of them again um, is really valuable, I think, to our strategy. And then something unique to TikTok is we can also target user behavior. So we can target users based on video and creator interactions. And again, that's if they watch a video, um, a certain type of video to a certain percentage, as well as uh, followed or interacted with certain types of creators as well, which is really unique to TikTok. And all this to say is that, um, well, I guess being fully transparent with you, um, I will say that when TikTok released their uh, HEC limitations, it was one of the most, I will say, striking, um, aggressive uh, limitations on a paid social platform that I have seen in a really long time. And I am personally curious to see how those, cha um, those change or become potentially even more flexible over the next few years, because I do believe it was a really aggressive approach. All of that being said, even within that really aggressive approach, I think there are a lot, there is a lot of opportunity as marketers, again, to continue engaging with the platform. So not as many as if obviously um, we were not in a multifamily industry, but still a lot that is available to us and makes it unique compared to other targeting tactics and other paid social platforms. So in the beginning, I also mentioned this idea of barrier to entry, right? And I kind of want to talk about that now, because I think that the biggest barrier to entry that I personally have felt with TikTok, not just from a professional standpoint, but a personal standpoint as well, really comes down to the assets and the idea that you have to create a video, a quality video to go onto TikTok. And what is that like conceivably? You know, I think it's hard to wrap your head around what really goes into that. So walking through the asset requirements real fast, I want to kind of quell those that barrier to enter that fear a little bit. So 
you do need the vertical video asset and you need a handful of them if you want to do kind of some splice content as well and you want them to highlight your floor plan and amenities but the great news is you already have the great floor plans and you already have the great amenities so all you really need to do is walk out to them with your phone or a phone or smart device in hand to take those videos that's truly all it takes and we'll get into this in a second about how there are some tips and tricks to make your content great um, your video content great and usable but Truly, that's all it is. Otherwise, it's a lot of things that you already have. So descriptions, for example, you already have that because most likely you already have a website. You just need 45 characters. That's it. You need a logo. You already have this. You already have a property logo. It's going to show just as a, uh, your user's profile would. And in terms of music, you actually don't need the music. It's actually preferable that, you know, especially if you're using an agency for your marketing that you don't send uh, video assets with music um, just to avoid any copyright infringement. And TikTok actually has a free music library of over thousands of tracks to choose from, um, which seems really intimidating, but you can filter, I promise, by different uh, vibes, if you would, uh, to help uh, help that out a little bit as well. And of course, of course, your digital team has already curated the perfect list as well if you need a little extra help there. And the last thing, organic TikTok page, you don't need it. <laughs> Um, of course, you know, I'd be remiss if I didn't say that, of course, an organic TikTok page would help your overall marketing strategy with TikTok, but you do not need one to market um, or advertise your product on TikTok, which I think, again, super unique to the platform and really eliminates that barrier to entry because really the biggest lift that we are seeing here is that vertical video asset. And in talking about that vertical video asset, um, I am going to show you how how easy or and how a few tips and tricks can really make the difference um, for your content. So if you give me a quick moment. And tips to keep in mind when filming your TikTok. Tip number one. You'll want to begin your TikTok video at the door to give prospects a good idea of where to enter the home and how it's all laid out. Follow me. You'll want to make sure you start at corners of the room so you're able to get the full range of the interior. Tip number two. Don't forget to also take clear videos of any in-unit amenities, such as any modern finishes, stainless steel appliances, or if the unit offers in-unit laundry. Tip number three. Go ahead and take some extra time to film different variations of your floor plans. For example, a one-bedroom or a two-bedroom. This will allow your digital team to focus on different floor plans based on your occupancy needs. Tip number four. In addition to your floor plan walkthrough videos, community amenity videos also perform well. Like your clubhouse and your gym, package lockers, covered garages, and assigned parking. Just make sure to not show any license plates. Like your pool, hot tub, or grilling area, pet park. And don't forget to get some exterior shots of your beautiful community as well. Tip number five. If you think the room is appearing a little too dark or a little too bright, tap the area that you want to adjust the exposure and it will adjust for you. Tapping the background will adjust it to make it look a little bit brighter and tapping the source of light will make the room appear a little bit darker. Tip number six. Something to remember when filming in a tighter space or in a hallway is to make sure you're not panning while also moving your feet. So if you're walking, keep the camera still. And if you're panning, you're not moving your feet. When you walk in, you're not moving the camera. And when you stop moving your feet, you can start panning. If you do both at once, you're bound to make somebody a little bit dizzy. Tip number seven. Feel free to change up your panning style. So instead of going left to right, you can also go right to left or even down to up or up to down, depending on the space that you're shooting in. Tip number eight, avoid fumbling with the door and find a teammate to open it for you. This will allow you to have steady shots at the beginning of your video. Tip number nine, make sure to show off amenities that prospects will love, like fireplaces, built-ins, if the unit and community is pet friendly, and balconies. And finally, tip number 10. Also, make sure to avoid residents in your videos. tips to keep in mind when oh my gosh. There we go. 
Um, so hopefully something that you understood and took from those quick tips is that really it does it just comes down to that. And it's super simple and easy and all you need is your smartphone. Again, that was just one part of a full video that uh, we at Digital have to help you film TikToks. There's tons of resources out there to make you again, feel empowered. And hopefully you're understanding that this bear, this idea of a barrier to entry with TikTok, um, it really just comes down to having the smartphone or capability to film the video. And after that, it's super simple. Um, and it can be as simple as spending five minutes with um, in your floor plan, um, shooting a few shots just to get started. And sorry, something actually I wanted to mention before I moved on here is the idea of polished content is, is still great, right? I think that having polished content on TikTok can be super beneficial and create beautiful um, ads or organic content that users will engage with. But something that I've mentioned a few times now is that TikTok is an authentic platform. That's the name of the game. So creating content that is also, you know, again, kind of similar to the video that you saw here, maybe a little bit rough around the edges, not overly polished, though that will still shine in advertising uh, on TikTok. Definitely still successful in, way, in um, a way that we have seen success as well. So last thing here I kind of want to discuss, you have all the information in terms of what TikTok is, where we've seen success, um, and, you know, how successful it has been and the type of, you know, engagement we have seen on the platform. So I'm curious, with all of that information, where you feel like TikTok uh, fits into your marketing mix and what type of properties that it works for. So I think Erica was going to drop a question into the chat for that. And this can really be anything, right? So think about the types of properties that you're working on, maybe your specific type of property. Beautiful. Yeah, that's great. Urban communities, student living, student living communities. Those are two great examples. You know, I thank you so much for uh, for chatting in. Um, those are two that I bring up here. Ultimately, um, it comes back to the brand awareness and demographics that are available on TikTok. Right. So these are just some examples of property types where we have seen success as well, but things like a lease up opportunity where you're trying to build the awareness to, again, build that funnel to have uh, available conversions down the line, student housing or properties near campuses um, or near university situations, uh, properties in a downtown metropolitan location, stabilized properties who are maybe moving away from the immediate uh, lease needs and kind of back into an awareness strategy. And and then I did mention traditional multifamily as well, because again, I would be remiss if I didn't say every property, every strategy should include um, a full mix in, in your funnel, right? So paid social as well as paid search all the way through. And as we've demonstrated here, and as we've seen here at Digital as well, um, there's so much success, success to be have with TikTok specifically. So some quick session takeaways here and things I want you to walk away uh, remembering as you move through the rest of your day and move into this concept of advertising on TikTok as marketers. Um, again, TikTok is an untapped market for multifamily marketing. Um, so, so much potential on there, so much room for to, for you to engage with your, uh, engage with potential users, engage with potential renters, um, and really meet users where they are most active. TikTok is authentic um, and drives engagement. And hopefully, um, not only with the information that we provided here, but also with the resources that are out there, as well as resources that we have, um, you can walk away feeling empowered to create the content for your ads without being a professional videographer. And again, I think that's the biggest thing here is that anyone can pick up um, a smart device and film a video. You don't need to be a professional videographer to do so. And the biggest thing I want you to walk away with is TikTok is essential to your marketing strategy. You know, we talked about those different demographics that are available on the platform, as well as kind of how we see Gen Z is um, moving and their buying power in the future. You would be doing your marketing service a, a disservice if you didn't try to engage with them now where they are to create those long-term brand interactions. The last thing here I do want to mention, TikTok is just one way to use video. I mentioned it before. I'm going to mention it one last time. Um, tune in for the video session with Organic Media at 345 for a little bit more on how to use video in your strategies. And I would like to open it up to any questions.
Does anyone feel like they learned something new about TikTok today? Has anyone used TikTok already in your strategies um, and maybe you learned a, a new way to do that or a new way to approach the, uh, the users on, on the platform? Anything in the chat? Oh, uh, we do have a question from Jenny. What type of frequency do you recommend uh, posting for a multifamily client easing into the TikTok game? Um, that is a great question, specifically for um, advertising on TikTok. Typically, we like to change out creatives still in that once to, once a quarter cadence, and that does uh, go into different budgets and things like that. Be more than happy to chat with you more about that, um, essentially, of advertising on TikTok. If you are looking to pursue organic TikTok marketing, I encourage you to hold on to that question um, for that organic session a little bit later. Uh, that those that group there will have a lot more information with that specifically um, and more insight in terms of how to how often to um, change up your video content in general. And Frank haven't yet uh, had it, in, uh, but it's in discussion. Great to see. Again, hopefully the biggest thing I want you to walk away with is that those barriers to entry that I feel like a lot of us as marketers have had in our mind, they, they really, um, not that they're not there, but they're easily accessible, right? And it just takes getting started um, to realize that. And, you know, a lot of the work that goes into creating the video can happen in platform as well, especially for advertising um, and especially, you know, partnering with an agency that um, has had success with the platform as well is a huge way just to overcome those barriers too. Cool. Anything else, guys? Well, it has been a pleasure chatting with you all today about TikTok um, and marketing on TikTok for multifamily. Again, I hope you feel empowered to pursue uh, and add this channel to your marketing mix and can't wait to see what you all create in the future.